See when you come over You're still feeling hazy, I'm lazy, let's stay in until it's over Hello everyone, Johnny here and welcome back to another video Now today's video is going to be on how we act around our parents versus our friends. Now, of course, this video is more aimed at you younger lot, you know, around 16, 17 and younger. Purely because when you get to over 18 or you get to an adult, most of the time you don't have to hide certain stuff from your mum and dad because you're an adult and they can't say shit. But yeah, apologies for the mess behind me having a clean out of this room and there's nowhere to put all this stuff, so I just thought I'd leave it there. I doubt you care anyway, but I just thought I'd mention it. But yeah, nevertheless, let's see if we can smash 40,000 likes in this video. That'd be much appreciated. Go down right now and smash that like button. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Right, so the first thing I want to talk about where we act different around our parents compared to our friends is... The birds and the bees. What goes on between you and a bird in the bedroom? At one stage in your life, yeah, as you're getting older, your mum or your dad is going to come up to you and speak to you about the birds and the bees. To be honest, saying that, my mum and dad never did. Um, so maybe, yeah, maybe they won't. Maybe you are unlucky. I don't know. It's just a thing that happens, doesn't it? Yeah. If you're unlucky enough to experience that, then, um, Good luck, sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, I personally didn't experience that. But, you know, it's a thing and it's very, very awkward. Yeah, I can imagine it being very awkward, especially at the age of like 16. And the one that can't up to you speak about that. Ah, oh, please, I'm all right. Comparing it to when you're around your friends, whoa, if you've just beat some girl, you are not keeping it to yourself, I tell you that now. And it is definitely not awkward as soon as you see your mates. That's the first thing you want to tell them. JJ, the only reason he's won that freaking game is because he's got freaking Cristiano Messi on his team, fam. Why don't I get that lucky in Pacaroonies, bro? Hi, son. Oh, hey, Dad G. What are you up to, mate? Nothing much, from Roski G Star. This total loser just kicked my freaking ass on FIFA G. The PlayStation gods would definitely not bless me today, fam. Freck! Right. Listen, son. I think it's about time we had a little talk about the birds and the bees. Oh, don't worry about that, Dad G. I've already got that info in the cranium, G. We're currently studying nature and wildlife at school, fam, so it's all good, bro. <laughs> no, I don't mean actual birds and bees, son. I'm talking about sex. What? Ah, oh, don't be so gross, Dad G. I don't want to talk about that with you, my freaking pops, man. Well, I think it's necessary, son. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Me and your mum still go out every week. We're very active indeed. <laughs> oh, Dad, stop, G. I'm gonna turn into a frickin' Pucasaurus Rex right now. <laughs> so, G, then, what happened between you and that chickaroon the other night, fam? Did you plow the life out of her? G, man, I frickin' healed her sexually like Marvin frickin' gay, G. She said I was the best pipe she ever had. Give over, broski. Since when did you become the Prince of Shaglot, fam? You can't woo cheekers. Oh yeah, fam? Well, I went to town with my pogo stick, G. She was all like, oh yeah, Charlie, fam. Screw me harder, G. Screw me harder. Your cocky's long like Heathrow, bro. No, frag her way, broski. That's some freaking totes awesome super litty news, fam. I know, right, bro, them. She even let me taste the sweet, sweet punana. Damn, broski. Kissing the cat and all sorts, G. You're a freaking menace in a bedroom, bro. Indeed, g -dim, was some pretty intense love action, G. Oh, there she is now, fam. Probably calling me to tell me I'm hung like a freaking horse, G. I best get this, bro. Yo, Chica, what are you saying? You all good in the hood? Charlie, why the fuck are you telling people we slept together? What? I never told anyone, G. And besides, Chica, who cares if I did? You know, I shagged that puss real good. You couldn't even get it inside because you couldn't find it. And plus, we were both fully clothed. Probably the dullest experience of my entire life. Stop lying to people, you little virgin. <laughs> Don't know what she's freaking talking about, G. You know, these Chicas be loco AF. <laughs> right, G. Right, now the next thing how we act different around our parents compared to our friends is drinking or around alcohol. You know, around your mum and dad, you don't really want to be acting like the fucking pisshead that you are. You know what I mean? You don't want them to know that you've been getting drunk since the age of 13, laying in fields. You want them to think you're respectful of their rules and like, you don't do any of this stuff unless you want it's 90% of you do. Don't lie to me now. Whereas compared to with your friends, oh well, if you're at that age, like, do you know what I mean? Around 15 years old, 
I was getting a bottle of vodka with my mates and drinking in a park. Oh, that is classy, that is. If you don't go through that stage as a UK British teenager, you're not British. You know what I mean? If you don't get drunk in a park or a field or something like that, then you, you ain't British. Especially for boys as well. Because some girls can get like IDs when they're like 15 because they look 18 they go clubbing. But no boy of 15 years old is getting a fake ID and he ain't clubs. We ain't got tits. You know what I mean? So we go through that stage of, yeah, let's get a box of balloons and some alcohol and sit on a park bench and do that. Yeah, that seems fun, doesn't it? And no mixer either. For some reason, I feel like when I was younger, I could take vodka better than I do now. Like, even the smell of vodka now, I was like, oh my, t get that away from me. When I was younger, I was necking it from the bottle straight. Oh yeah, and then your dad got himself locked in the shed by accident. <laughs> Oh yeah, go on, mock me for trying to cut the grass. None of you lot would even go in the shed. And the funny thing is, Dad, it wasn't even locked. It was just pull, not push. <laughs> yeah, well, you say that, but I was in there for a solid half an hour, so I'm definitely sure something got jammed. Yeah, yeah, all right, if you say so, eh, Mum? Yeah, if he says so. <laughs> Anyways, happy 16th birthday, Sam. Cheers, Mum. Cheers, Dad. You know what? You're 16 now. I think it's about time you had your first drink. Sorry? Your first beer, honey. I think he's allowed one now, ain't he, Harold? Yep, he's a young man now. I think it's about time you tried one. Here, son, try this beer. See if you like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll try it. I'll try. I'll, I'll try my first ever beer. Um, uh, ooh. I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> you're probably not gonna like it, mate. I didn't like my first beer when I was 18. Yeah, but you know, you're gonna try it one day. Might as well be in front of us. <laughs> right. Um, here it goes then, I guess. My first ever alcoholic drink. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, no, no, that is definitely like nothing I've ever tasted before in my life. Mm. Mm, oh, 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 yeah. What's that twang? That's called alcohol, mate. <laughs> I knew you won't like it. Yeah, I guess you was right, Dad. Ain't for me. Well, let me just try it one more time, you know, see what it tastes like. <clears throat> nope. <clears throat> oh, nope. <laughs> oh, no, that, that is strong. That is, oh, that is disgusting, yeah. <laughs> Definitely ain't for me. I'm probably just not an alcohol person, to be honest. That's all right, honey. At least we know now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll just, I'll just stick to my water to wash it down. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> ah, refreshing. Anyways, what? That wasn't your water. Hmm. What? That was my double vodka and tonic. You picked up the wrong glass. Your walk was behind you. It didn't even burn his throat, Harold. Oh no. I can't even down it that quick without gagging and I've been drinking 20 years. Alright, so, um, <laughs> confession time. <laughs> I, um, I may have had just one drink before. <laughs> We're the finest football team the world has ever seen. Oh my god, mate, you're actually such a lightweight. You've only had a whole bottle of vodka and seven beers. <laughs> Shut up, bruv. I've had way more than you. I'm just getting started. No, actually, I've had at least double what you've had. Oh. Oh. What do we have here? Two vulnerable, young, sexy boys getting drunk in a field. <laughs> Must be my lucky day. <laughs> she fell over. She fell over. She... Ah! Oh. <laughs> Have that, you prick. Calm as a bitch, man. Oh, oh mate. Oh, I can't get up. It's fine. It's fine. Just, just, just let me have a nap here quickly. What? No, mate. You can't just sleep here. Let's get more drink. 
Just, 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 just a quick one to just, I'm just, I'm just gonna rest my eyes. Ben! Uh, uh, I suppose a five minute nap on a... Someone's obviously brought us here. Oh shit, oh shit. Quick, call the police right now. I can't, I don't have my phone. Oh for fuck's sake, me either. Oh shit, this is bad. This is real bad. Hello, boys. What? Who are you? Why have you trapped us here? Yeah, let us go, you freak. People are gonna know we're missing. Now, now, boys. No need to get all flustered. Oh. The only way you're getting out of them chains is with a key. What? But there is no key. Oh, yes, there is. But where's the key then? It's inside your asshole, Steve. <laughs> What? That's right. To retrieve the key, you must reach in there and grab it up. You, you, you can't do this. Oh, I can. And I will. <laughs> now, you have three minutes to retrieve the key or the room will fill up with carbon monoxide, killing you both. <laughs> now, let the games begin. <laughs> no! You've done it again, Nigel. Another successful kidnapping. And I think this one's my favorite. Huh? Get off of it already! Stick your hand up his ass! Got these kids nowadays. And then last but not least, yeah, is introducing your girlfriend to either your parents or your friends. Yeah? When you're introducing your girlfriend to your parents, you want that to be on our best behavior. You want your parents to have a good impression. You know, it's a bit awkward, but it's got to happen. And you're hoping that your parents don't embarrass you. That's the main thing. Compare it to your friends. Oh, your bird is not meeting your friends until your friends have met your bird. If you get what I'm saying. Mum, Dad, I'd like to meet my girlfriend, Becky. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hi there. It's lovely to meet you, darling. Isn't she pretty, Dave? She's a very pretty girl indeed, Jacob, mate. Well done. Good thing you don't have your father's taste. I'll go for fucking munters. Oh, fuck off, you pathetic man. You're no Brad Pitt yourself. Well, the young woman next door seems to think so. Oh, get over yourself, you sad c Sorry, love. He's got an ego because the woman next door said hello to him. No, Sandra, I fucked her. You know that short from next door, son? You know, a young one in her 20s, yeah? I fucked her. Yeah, probably because you fucking groomed her, you nonce. <laughs> Good one. Anyways, darling, why don't you take a seat? We're just about to eat dinner. <laughs> Thanks. A few moments later. So, Becky, what'd you get up to in your spare time? Um, well, I like to act a lot. I'm currently working in the theatre. You don't say. Jacob's mum used to do a lot of acting when she was younger. Acting like a fucking slag. <laughs> funny. You fucking pillock. So, Jacob, how's uni going? Bit stressful at the minute, but you know, uh, nothing good comes about a bit of stress. Exactly, darling. Oh, would you look at that, Sandra? Her tits are above her elbows. Yours used to do that before you got old and fucking wrinkly. Oh, yeah? Well, how would you know what they look like? You haven't fucked me in over ten years. That's because you're dusty as anything, love. Need a chimney sweep to get up there. What do I look like? Oliver Twist? Mum, Dad, please. Can we just have a nice meal without you embarrassing me in front of my girlfriend? You're right. Sorry, son. Sorry, darling. We'll put our differences aside for you. Thank you! <sighs> 
You know he's never made me come once. Yeah, but that's basically what I was saying though. No, you wasn't saying that unique. Don't try to chat shit, innit? You weren't. No, you weren't, you weren't. Yo. Oh, hey, oh, here he is. What are you saying? Nothing much. Look, boys, basically, I've been chatting to this girl recently and I really like her and um, I'm thinking about asking her to be my girlfriend. No way, bruv. She must be banging if you want to make her your bird. Mate, she's a proper sort and we're getting on so well. Like, I've never clicked with a girl like this before. Plus, she's a virgin as well. But there's one thing I need you lot to do for me before I can commit. CRB check. CRB check. Right, we're on it. What's her name? Sarah Smith. Sarah Smith, got it. I'll try to check her snap score. Cool. What's her Instagram? I'll have a look on there, see if she's commenting any boys' pictures I know. Oh, she said she doesn't have Insta. What? Oh, bruv, that's a red flag in the system already. I know, I know, but I have a good feeling about this one. Trust me, I don't think she'd lie to me. Oh, all right. Just send me a picture of her face and I'll send it into the all boys school group chat. See if anyone knows her, innit? Okay, sweet. I'll just do a general search on Facebook and internet. See if I can find any underlying flaws. Cool. Sounds good. Right, update on the Snapchat. There's multiple Sarah Smiths, but not one of them has a snap score above 30k. So that's a good sign. Alright, sweet. Um, what about the Facebook? Nope. Can't find anything bad on here. Yes! Okay, good. This is good news. I knew she was a good one. Don't get too excited yet. I just got a message from the group chat. Well, go on. What's it say then? I'm sorry, Ben, mate, but all our news just got sent into the group chat by multiple boys. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. Please leave a like if you did. Let's see if we can smash 40,000 likes. Honestly, that'd be much appreciated. Smash the like button right now. It only takes two seconds of your time. Look, it's right there. It's right there, yeah? Hit the like button. Subscribe today to join the Kezra Army. And uh, yeah, goodbye. I'm a dude shit that just pissed